Hello and welcome again to another reading from the book, The Faith I Live By, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled, Houseband of the Family, September 16th. I am coming to the cross, I am poor and weak and blind, I am counting all but draws, I shall fall, salvation find, I am trusting Lord in Thee, oh the Save me, Jesus, save me now. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Ephesians 6 verse 4 Great is the work of the mother. It should never be forgotten that the father also has a part to act in the education and training of his children. Especially as the children advance in years is the father's influence needed in union with that of the mother to restrain, control, and guide. A Christian father is the houseband of his family, binding them close to the throne of God. Never is his interest in his children to flag. The father who has a family of boys should not leave these restless boys wholly to the care of the mother. He should make himself their companion and friend. He should exert himself to keep them from evil associates. He should take more of the burden upon himself, doing all in his power to lead his boys to God. When children lose their self-control and speak passionate words, The parents should for a time keep silent. Silence is golden and will do more to bring repentance than any words that can be uttered. Satan is well pleased when parents irritate their children by speaking harsh, angry words. Fathers, provoke not your children to anger, lest they be discouraged. Colossians 3.21 Let your calmness help to restore them to a proper frame of mind. By kind and judicious management, fathers as well as mothers should bind their children to them by the strong ties of reverence, gratitude, and love, and should kindle in their young hearts an earnest longing for righteousness and truth. While the mother seeks to implant good principles, The father should see that the precious seed is not choked by the growth of evil. His sterner discipline is needed that his children may learn firmness and self-control. Christian Father, labor kindly, patiently for the welfare of your children. Seek to turn their hearts to the bright beams of the Son of Righteousness. Teach them by precept and example that the Spirit of Christ is the Spirit of doing good. Thank you for listening today. I trust that you have received the message God had in store for you. God's peace be upon you. Maranatha